Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. In this quick video, we're going to show you the difference between linear and freeform courses in LearnDash. So if I head from the WordPress dashboard to a LearnDash course, just by going to LearnDash LMS and then courses, I've got a course here. And if I edit the settings for this course, and then go across to the settings tab, and scroll down to where it says course progression, there are two options here, linear and freeform. Now the first one is the, I think the default and it's set as linear. So let's just take a look at how that appears for a user on this course. If a course has the progression setting of linear, what it means is that the user will have to do the course in the order specified here. So they'll have to go lesson one, lesson two, and access all of the content in sequence to get to the end. And if they tried, for example, to skip to a later topic, it would pop up and say, please go back to complete the previous lesson. And then they'd have to go back and complete the course in sequence. So it's throwing me right back here to uh, lesson one of, of the course. So now let's quickly switch that over to the other option here, which is freeform. And this says it allows the user to move freely throughout the course without following the designating, designated step sequence. So let's just click update now. And then now that's saved, what I will do is refresh this as the, the user on the course. And what we should find out now is that we can skip to any page on the course. For example, I'm going right across to lesson three, PayPal settings, and we can find here that we can access this page, we can mark it as complete, and there is no requirement to access the course in a specific way. So what we would say, if you have a course that is perhaps a compliance course or something that you have to make sure that the learner has visited every single page, then you would probably use the linear option there to make sure that they have gone through the pages one by one to get to the end. If your course is more for information purposes, where someone might be able to pick out what they're actually looking for, uh, you know, it's perhaps a more resource-based course, then Freeform would be the option to go for that because it would open up the flexibility for them to find what they need more quickly. So I hope that helps. If it did, please give video video a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.